Recently I've built a legendary API 312 microphone preamp. Like many other preamps mentioned before, countless records have been made using more or less the same module with slight differences in options they had added to the bass amplifier since the late 60s. Originally designed by Saul Walker, who due to his humble approach always seemed to stay in the shadow of other engineers and often repeated names in the industry. Seriously, there is only one video of Soul Walker on the whole YouTube platform. The step-up input transformer in the API mic pre feeds the discrete 2520 op-amp, which is a masterpiece in and of itself, which drives the 2503 output transformer we are winding today. The output transformer is a simple yet very smart and effective design. Four wires are wound at the same time, or what we doctors like to call the quad filler winding technique. Some were wound using specially manufactured Litz wire, where the wires are already glued together or twisted together, and some were wound just by using four separate wires of the same diameter, all wound at the same time. Since I don't have the Litz wire, I've made this crude improvised ad hoc jig with four spools held by two stacks of E laminations. Since we have four wires wound at the same time, one of the windings is used as the primary and the rest of the three windings can be connected in different configurations to create various secondary impedances and ratios. This is even sold as a feature on some of the newer API preamps. I secure the wires using Kapton tape and pray everything will go well with the price of copper wire in mind. Thanks to CJ from the group DIY forum, we know that the whole transformer has only 287 turns. This setup worked so well that even when the whole stack of spools fell off the improvised stand, it still didn't ruin the winding. I've managed to catch it and be a temporary stand until the machine finished the job. I set up the machine for the correct travel and spacing and keep it on low RPM to avoid any sudden surprises on the way, which turned out to be a very good decision as you will see in a second. The advantage of low voltage solid state amplifiers is that the output transformers require only a few turns and can be wound together without the risk of high voltage breaking through from one winding to another. The capacitance is also not an issue for such a low number of turns. The situation was so critical that I had to show the back of my bald head in full frame.
The finished bobbin is 100% full with the nominal 4x0.28mm wire I'm using, which is around 29 gauge. I use the multimeter to check the continuity between the windings and make sure that I got everything hooked up correctly. These are audio grade 0.35mm thick ones. I am using the EI48 metric laminations or 625 EI laminations in Imperial. And since this transformer has no DC current in its windings, we are just using the interleave technique as we would use for the power transformers. I lightly pot the finished transformer in a pickle jar full of transformer enamel and let it dry. Finished transformer is ready to be installed in my custom designed API 312 mic pre PCB. More on that in the next video where we'll be checking the DIY API mic pre and test how this transformer performs in the circuit. If you're interested in learning more about transformers, audio transformers and transformer winding in general, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you would like to calculate, design and wind your own transformers, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.